Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Sailor Moon Season 1, Episode 11. And it is called Usagi vs. Ray, Nightmare and Dreamland. So, <clears throat> we have like basically like an official team meeting with everyone and Usagi and Ray are arguing over a manga which is like adult comics and then Luda tells them to work together and Ami brings up that this is a new uh, amusement park dreamland about 50 people have disappeared with no explanation and then we come to our barrel is getting fed up with Jedi and then he gives the press conference where I was like oh they they Left here, all of our numbers add up, blah, blah, blah. And then we cut to the girls are in dreamland. And Usagi is being very childish and just like goofing off. And they run into an animatronic lion and Princess Dream. And basically it's more robotic animals and Princess Dream controls it by her apple. And then Ray gets very, very bad vibes from Princess Dream. But it's like, it's like, no, nah, she isn't. <laughs> then we cut to where a Dream invites them to the House of Sweets. So they start to go there. And then we have Ray and Usagi Bicker. But then Usagi ran into Mamoru as they were riding a train car. And it's like for kids. I mean, Usagi and Ray can barely pass. But like Mamoru, he's older. <laughs> and I'm just... And so... Uh, so she, so he starts to pick on her, and Ray starts laughing, and so they kind of get along, so, but Usagi slams him and really gets on, like, hit a nerve. And, um, then, uh, as they're, then he's just kind of like, oh my god, that is just, why he's worried about that. Ray's he's like, does he look like Tetsu the mask to you? Then Usagi went off on her, and said, oh, of course he isn't. <laughs> Then Ray again got bad vibes from the House of Sweets, like really, really, really bad ones, but Ami's already there. And um, they shut the doors, leaving Usagi and Ray out. And then there's an illusion that's happening and stealing energy, and Ami passes out with the rest of the people. Then we cut to Usagi and Ray are bickering some more, but they transform to get in. And then Dream has the, um, an illusion. But Ray saved Usagi as a uh, snake bit her and turned her to stone. But it was, uh, she um, handled it by blasting it off her hand. And we go back to another illusion where Tosita mashes up, but it's really not him, and they both fall for it. But then the real Tosita mask helped and left. And so um, they run for it. And then Ami is awake and then tells them to get the apple and she transforms and they attack the apple with a fire tiara. So they're technically Ray and Usagi work together. And the has gone, everything's going back to more to normal with Usagi and Ray bickering some more. So I really like this episode. I give this a minus just because I like the dynamic between Ray and Usagi. I wish that was done more in Cinnamon Crystal, like a little bit, but it didn't really happen. So, um, I really, really, really enjoyed the episode. I felt like, um, the only reason why I got A minus, like, the villain was, like, a little too nice about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> then Usagi was being really nice back. I was just like, wait, well, typically Ray handled that for me. She's like, wait doing <laughs> but anyway um overall it was funny i like the action scenes and um we get to see the dynamics because like ray and ami get our um get along great and but and Usagi and ami get along great but Usagi and ray they clash but anyway uh that's it uh, but anyway, I, like I was saying, I really like the dynamic. Anyway, that's what we'll do for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.